New Year's Eve is nearly upon us, and for many, ringing in 2024 means fireworks. But a fun tradition can quickly turn into a trip to the hospital or a visit from the fire department if not done safely. Here are a few tips. Wear gloves and eye protection when lighting fireworks, and make sure you're not setting them off near a building or car, and always make sure kids have the supervision of a sober adult. Maybe lighting fireworks isn't your thing, though, and if that's the case, try visiting a local fireworks show instead. And while we hope it's not the case. If you or someone you know is injured this weekend, apply cool water to the area, use an antibiotic ointment, and make sure to see a doctor within 24 hours or call 911 if it's urgent. If you're heading out to a party or other New Year's festivities this weekend, listen up. It's important for you to drive sober or get pulled over as law enforcement around the country will be on the roads in full force to make sure you're driving safely. If you're planning to drink and don't want to risk jail time or worse, make a plan. Include a designated driver or leave your keys at home and choose a rideshare like Uber or Lyft. In Louisiana, any driver with a blood alcohol concentration above .08 is considered under the influence. And we're taking one last look at traffic as you head out the door this morning. Traffic looks to be moving smoothly on I-10 at Louisiana Avenue, but right now there is a crash with injuries being reported on Ambassador Caffrey at Creek Farm Parkway in Lafayette Parish. So if you're driving through the area or anywhere for that matter, make sure to drive carefully. And you know, Bradley, it is a holiday weekend. And with that said, people want to know what the weather's like. I'm seeing <laughs> a lot of blue. Tell us about it. Yeah, well, otherwise, no rain in the forecast this weekend, but it is cold out there for sure this morning. Temperatures low to mid 30s area wide feeling like the upper 20s. So bundle up if you're heading on out this morning. Mostly clear skies in place. We are going to be dealing with a good amount of sunshine out there today. Seasonably cool into the afternoon near 50 by lunchtime. We'll top it out mid 50s later on this afternoon. And with clear skies, lighter winds in place tonight. Most of us either heading for a light freeze or a patchy frost first thing tomorrow morning. Upper 20s to lower 30s for northern Acadiana. Low to mid 30s here along the I-10 corridor. Similar numbers there across the coastal parishes. A touch milder tomorrow, uh, but still very comfortable. Lower 60s for those high temperatures will be near 70 on Sunday under partly cloudy skies. Another cold start there, mid to upper 30s area wide. We do stay dry as we ring out, uh, ring in the new year uh, at, at midnight, Sunday night. Few light showers arriving for the morning hours on New Year's Day. Not a lot of rainfall expected. I think we see a better soaking with the two weather systems to follow. Uh, first one there into Wednesday day and then the next one will arrive sometime dur uh, during next weekend. But in the short term, it is about those cold mornings. Taylor dealing with the lower oh. to middle 30s, feeling like the upper 20s. It was hard Hi. to get out of bed this morning, but pretty quiet for this sure. holiday weekend. No rain. It's an exciting weekend, so it's chilly, but we're ringing in the new year, people, and we got to thank you for watching us all morning and throughout 2023 on GMA. Thank you, Bradley, for joining us this week as yeah. well. And we both hope you have you're a done for the year. Uh, you're done new for the year. year. I'm, I'm going to see Sunday. you next year. You'll see Bradley on Sunday. <laughs> so have a happy new year and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.